uh, this is the chuck removal device on the lathe and any lathe that doesn't have some type of a system to remove it without screwing it off you will have this problem it's very important when you make a collar like this that compresses on the end of the, of the mandrel or the spindle that you have a piece to go into the spindle to stop it compressing and swaging the end of the spindle this is what I've made here and this fits in here so that both are locked but this here is the tight fit for the man for the mandrel hole and that means when that's tapped into it that you cannot over compress it or swage the end you have something solid that it bears against and then and then that fits in here to this collar here in there so that when the pressure comes on this is bolted down both internally and externally are held in common now the the puller on this is in a piece here so there's nothing to support it in there but the gear wheels themselves that run on the mandrel shaft however uh, you could argue that you need this to expand inside of the mandrel nose but you run the risk then of wearing it and putting it out it through this has worked fairly good for me and believe you me, although very few lay donors talk about it, getting the chuck off is a pure, tough task. So here is the chuck. It's now, it's now loose, so I can take it off. But they do bind. Now some put goose grease or grease or oil on here at the joint on the thread. But I find that only makes it tighten up more. So that what you gain one way by having... Uh, lubrication for taking it off you lose because the chuck tightens even more because there's no resistance to it spinning you understand so that's the point the if in some cases if in some cases you can't get this out you need a piece of hollow that that hollow stuff that that will that will go over the ends but not the centerpiece the centerpiece is the wedge so you need you need something that will go over the the wedge and hit it here on, on hit it here you get, get the point so it's a, it's a difficulty but once you have that over it does take a little time uh, you're okay i would probably not advise buying a lathe again with a screw on chuck you want to be very careful buying them with a screw on chuck even though if you do get them on they're very accurate okay thank you very much good luck